Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey and welcome to what you need to hear today. So you guys can pick one of these and be especially attuned into that or you can listen to all of them. I love these so much and I'm just going to go in a semi-circle right here and we're going to begin with Discover. So let's put them all together. Discover, generosity, serenity, potential, and success. I feel like these all go together because when we do discover serenity, we see all the potential for success and generosity 100%. It's all about getting our mind and creating excitement and enthusiasm for our life. And a lot of things can evoke a lot of strong emotions in us when it comes to um, discovering new things. We like our comfort zone. We like to know what's coming. However, success comes with um, that territory that hasn't been ventured in before. Because if we do what we did, we're going to get exactly what we got. So we need to try new things. So let's see what's going on in terms of discover. Ta-da! Magician. Absolutely. So a lot of you guys out there, please go out and discover some of your hidden talents, some of your um, natural, you know, just those natural gifts that are embedded in us. And sometimes they come up by accident. You ever just grab a pencil and start sketching and going, wow, man, I can really sketch. You start plucking on a guitar and you're like, whoa, I have some rhythm here. Um, painting, speaking. I know that before I even tried to film myself for YouTube years ago, I, I never really recorded myself or I didn't perform. I wasn't like a performer, which is crazy because I love speaking and I love, you know, what I do now. So I thought it was so weird. But when I began, so many people were like, oh, I really love your voice. It's very peaceful. It makes me, you know, I like to start my day with it. And then I recognized, well, then that is a natural gift and talent. And then I kind of honed my skills and built really what is my vocation around this now, you know, um, through life coaching, through doing private reads, all of this. And it makes me feel so good, too, that people say I listen to my private reads over and over and over. And so much of it has come to pass. And I recognize that the potential always lies in me. And when I discover new things about myself, I utilize that and it pushes me forward into new, you know, the recognition that I deserve in things. For me, a lot of times it was how deserving am I? I really didn't understand, nor was I particularly tuned into the monetary world until I understood that money is an energy. And it's weird how we think how much we deserve, right? Or how much, um, what is, you know, what is too much, not enough, all of that. And it's funny how some people have given a dollar, they can spend all of it. If given a million dollars, they can spend all of it. And there's all that gray area in between where it's like, it what you know what is paycheck to paycheck mentality which at times i've had years ago to i feel abundant and i'm going to feel the absolute abundance out in the universe mm. and when we do that you'll find more money comes know you're deserving high value how high worth write down an amount that you would like to see monthly see checks see your paypal see all of this envision this money coming in i've got to tell you it's crazy that even though now, but it's years later and I realize I really do put my heart and soul into my work and my reads, that even sometimes I'm like, it is crazy that years ago when I worked for, um, you know, Whole Foods and other places like that, that I thought I was getting a good deal or a better deal was coming down the road with them. And now I literally make 10 to 15 times that amount hourly. And I think it's so crazy because even now with that, I have to issue a kind of response. Is that worth my time? Because it really is. Time is a super valuable commodity. So what do you want to discover in that and tap into that? Say, I am worth all of this limitless potential. I'm worth all of this limitless abundance, all this limitless love. And I'm going to tap into it and I'm going to discover what's out there because it is your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to get all of this stuff that is like you're right on the brink of it. I can see for a lot of you, you know, you're kind of like in a neutral moment where you're assessing where you want to go. Please remember that you deserve to have boundaries. You deserve to have time alone when you want it. You don't need validation. You don't need to ask people for um, their kind of reassurance or stamp of approval. You've got this. It all comes from within. So say aloud to yourself, I am capable. I am worthy. All of these things, voice it, voice it, voice it. So you can enhance that strength and discover more about yourself because we really are our own magicians. We are. I can cultivate a really great headspace and manifest a fantastic day. When I stick to, I am going to be surprised at the beauty and magic that's out there. And when we do that, we discover more and more 
as opposed to just going in robotic. I eat, sleep, work, you know what I mean? Going into the matrix, no more of that. We want to go in and see all this wisdom and success and potential that is there for us and also speak as it is in the present moment too like um thank you for this abundance thank you for this wealth thank you for this stability all of that so let's get into generosity so seeds of kindness so every week or two i do this thing where i go and i get some buckets i just do always do weird things and i throw them in my back seat and i go to the beach and i see some kid or family that's there and they're just kind of walking around and they're digging with their hands and i just go up and give them a bucket and i always just say oh I had this in my car would you like it and I just leave it for them and they get so excited because I remember when my kids were young sometimes we just do impromptu beach stops and they just be digging kids can be happy with anything but it's so nice when you just have this little surprise thing and I love that kind of look on a kid's face and I'm like dude it's the greatest feeling ever, you know, like, oh, and yesterday I had this really cool bucket set. I stopped at CVS because I knew I was going to the beach and it was like this pink bucket that had all the little like castle things on the bottom and all these little extras and just cool, funky things to build castles with. And so this family was walking and they were really, really sweet. I just walked up and gave it to him and it was Cinco de Mayo and everybody was playing music down the beach and it was so nice. But this also speaks to ourselves, okay? Look at this. Here we go. Queen of Cups energy. Am I kind to myself? Do I say nice things to myself? Do I say and honestly think that I am deserving? It's okay if you don't think that right away. But the more you say it to yourself and the more you live that truth, a little bit of self-care, you know, where we are not. When that cup is full, the Queen of Cups doesn't have a half full cup and give it to somebody else. Her cup will start overflowing. It is that overflow we then give to others. We don't go beyond our bandwidth to and you know compromise our mental stability to give to others this is where we look after ourselves and we make sure okay we're situated we ate our food we got our act together now we can give to others like i'm very well rested before i go out because i'm bringing that out into the world that energy um frantic energy uh the persona non grata with me when i'm in a store and people are agitated or they don't have enough time i'm like why the hell are you in this store when people think they're pressed for time guess what they're pressed for time i don't go in a store if i don't have the time to be there i don't go to a restaurant if i don't have the time to sit and eat you know what i mean so when people are like where's my food where's this like impatience is the opposite of generosity generosity says i have all the time that i need i have all the resources i need therefore i'm going to share with others when I feel abundant and good too. You know, I am not going to give my last $50 to somebody and then be like, oh, I'm going to eat this old English muffin from 1974 because, you know, they're more deserving than I am. And that's what it tells people. When we give people our energy and our resources before ourselves and we're situated, we're saying their time is more, you know, their time is more valuable than us, their resources. No, looking after yourself and then being generous with others. Because when we feel good about where we are in life and how we're living life, uh, we tend to be kinder more generous individuals and i'll tell you what that's one thing that i notice first and foremost about people too and i bet a lot of people do how generous they are because a lot of things come with generosity kindness calmness um it's it's that person that is secure within themselves you know there's nothing worse than a super cheap skate or or somebody that is just a looking out for themselves all the time you know i remember once i walked in the house and i flipped on the TV. I'm like, I, I can't watch the Kardashians. I just feel like we're saturated with them, but teach his own. Um, and one of the girls, they were going to an event, and I think it was the um, Kendall asked whoever the makeup y one is, the other the other young one, can I borrow this dress? I, I, I don't have time to go home. And the other girl, who probably had a million dresses, said no. Um, I'm not lending you that dress and they started this big fight over it. that breaks my heart when I see that kind of like sisterhood or anything when people um, can't be generous when they have more than enough you know what I mean that miserly thing like stepping over a homeless person to shop at Gucci that kind of grossness you know what I mean again karmic karmic winds will blow in those type of people's direction but be generous you feel good you ever just drop something off at a shelter or um, you know, you just give to somebody and you, and you, or you shop for the exact right present for their birthday and you know, they'll love it. That generous spirit and soul people know that that translates into more good energy and high vibration. So doing that is wonderful. I love that serenity value, quiet days. Hallelujah. This is a keystone to me existing calmly and peaceably 
and happily in my environment. Part of it is because I, I relish tranquility. I like water and peace. I feel like it, it has our brain release chemicals that are calming and water does this for sure. Again, serenity brings us, that's my number one thing. If somebody said you could have all the money in the world or you could have all the peace and stability in the world, I tell you what, once peace and stability is formed, you can go out there and get those resources and that revenue like anything because it starts with that. A, just start speaking it. Speak wealth and speak this and speak serenity into your life because sometimes feeling well situated economically makes us feel serene. So just be like, I am wealthy. I live an abundant life. I have abundance always coming to me. Write down a number you'd, again, you'd like to make monthly. Write that down. Serenity comes with the thought of what is prosperity to us. Prosperity to me is a happy, healthy family and home life first and foremost. Because I tell you what, my mental capacity for um, ill family members kind of devours, it devours me. Like if any, I remember what's like, my son had poison ivy and he gets it like a lot of my family members did. And it just spread all over him. And I think, you know, he was, this was a couple of years ago. So he was maybe like 16 and oh my God, just to see that I can feel that as an empath. And I was like, ah, totally freaked me out. And the moment he healed, I recognized the fact that my family's health is everything. I feel like once everybody is healthy, everything else is just extra. It really is. I can always earn money. Money is always available. There's infinite jobs, possibilities, vocations, and revenue streams out there. So serenity comes with knowing that everybody's okay in my family. And then I just build from there. And I love this scene, this beautiful fellow grandfather just sitting under a tree, beautiful grandchild, you know, dog, happy family life. And we all see it. We see contentedness and love in some families, and it doesn't matter the amount of money. We, I have so many big, wonderful like families that show up at the beach, and you know they don't have a lot of money, and they're not. They're all there sharing one blanket. They are packing their lunch, and they are having a blast. They have each other. They're swimming. They're laughing. And then you'll see people with every kind of beach accoutrement and the big umbrellas and the fancy chairs and all of that, and they're just sitting there staring at their phones, and they're not even talking to each other. So prosperity is really are you showing love and are you showing are you showing affection and care that brings in this gorgeous serenity which is saying peace at heart having everything you need recognizing you have everything you need right i love that so now, potential potential these cards are amazing by the by <laughs> i love this so potential the littlest key can open the heaviest door there you go sometimes we have to do the work and see what is our potential? Let me mix it up and find out. What am I good at? Like, what excites me first and foremost? What does that inner child want to do? I remember my biggest thing being the youngest. You know, I've um, my dad was married twice, had two boys and a girl, two boys and a girl. And I thought it was funny because both us girls had a girl and a boy in that order. And I, it's like I start to see patterns and it's pretty cool. And the interesting thing is, as the youngest, I felt like I really had to have wonderful, interesting um, captivating things to say because you really do to hold a captive audience of four older brothers a, you know, smart funny amazing people always off doing athletics convincing them they should bring me with them and teach me this stuff I had to get really kind of like ooh, creative so I realized from a, a young age that I really was great at observing and psychology whoo that was in the bag from a young age, I knew that that was something that I wanted to study and I thought was so fascinating. Why do people treat each other a certain way? Why do people include certain people? And why do people think certain things are important? And what it, you know, love, all of that. So do the work, mix it up. See what some of your potentials are. Some people don't even know till they begin. Like the weirdest thing, we just started going at the driving range. My dad was a phenomenal golfer and I, I hit a few balls in my life, but now that I was at the driving range, the second time I went, I was like, I felt like I had been doing it for years and I only missed like one ball, one swing out of like 50. And I thought, wow, the first time I did this, it was pretty shaky. I was missing a lot and I really loved it and it felt good. And I felt like, oh, I'm vibing with this. So what do you vibe with? Where do you think you have potential? Have you tried to sing? Have you tried to write music? Have you tried writing? Have you tried painting? All of this, because sometimes we all have these buried treasures within us and we don't even know they're there until we practice and we check it out. Look at this. This is a stew is brewing card. I love the three of pentacles. Sometimes it's collaborative work where other people bring out the best in us. Check that out. See what other people are doing along your lines. I know lots of other readers and speakers and YouTubers and 
fun kindreds. They inspire me. I watch their stuff. I see how they live their life. I check out their stuff on IG and I'm like, yeah, I want to do that, you know, and, and I get excited about it. So just start, start, you know, thumbing through um, things that are out there and be like, hmm, I wonder what that would be like. Some people don't even know until they walk into a dog kennel that, oh my gosh, I want to you know, I want to be a dog walker. I want to work for, you know, my local animal rescue. Whatever it is, whatever speaks to your heart and you feel love, enthusiasm, excitement and draws, draws you in and you feel connected to, go for it. So do a little, do a little um, experimentation over the next few days. A lot of people, it's, it's wonderful, amazing little things that you'd never even know. You know, it could be like uh studying I, and I get into weird history things I love all kinds of writing and hieroglyphics and all of that and trying to decode stuff it can be strange little things but it can add wonder and amusement and it, it can also facilitate wonderful income for yourself too so check that out love 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 that now let's see what's going on in success man these cards are just stoking success some of you guys you are going to find success on a new shore a new way a new day all of that so what I feel like this is, where and this does this card really is blooming wherever you are planted. So we make a decision each day by talking to ourselves what kind of mood we're going to be in, um, what are we going to do. So a lot of times it starts with people can think, oh today I can't do anything because it's raining. I'm excited. We're still going to the driving range later. It has beautiful overhangs. They're all you know encapsulated and you stay dry. The weather never really changes my disposition. But what does happen is. You ever wake up and you're really stoked for the day, but something, it can cause a little ailment, whatever. You could have a headache, you could have a stomach ache. And then what happens is a lot of people like panic, they throw in the towel, I'm not doing this today. We aggravate ourselves with overscheduling. We're, we're gonna stop doing that. I'm telling you the road to success is choose one thing. Choose one thing that you wanna do and you're excited about and keep in that thread, keep in that vein and stay with it. Because I feel like once you do your one thing that you want, it garners motivation and energy for your next step too. But we also have to remember on the road to success that we don't overwhelm ourselves and go beyond our bandwidth and try to pull everything in. It is human nature to be like more, 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 more. But I'm telling you that is catastrophe. I always think of myself as like a boat, like basically like the Titanic. I have the potential to sink if I put too much crap on the deck. Doom, down I go. Um, yeah, I think gold bricks are pretty, but I'm not gonna stack them all around me and carry them around everywhere too heavy, that kind of thing. So I like a clean, clear deck. I'll add one beautiful, shiny potential to something for success. What would I love to do today? Ooh, today I want to um, invent a new style, kind of like read. That's what I did. I was like, I want to do a beautiful arc and what you need to hear in a different way all the time, whatever inspires me to do that. And then I get motivated and I go to that. That's it. That's it for my plans. I know I'm not going anywhere till 3.30 what else do I want to do? And I build on that. So slowly build on baby steps, A, B, C. Never give yourself that. Cr Sometimes we think, ooh, well, if I give myself a big list, it'll really motivate me. Uh, for most people, that'll make them procrastinate. It'll overwhelm them. So the key to success is sim clarification, simplification, verification, focus and follow through. Focus and follow through. Go do it. And all the while telling yourself, I got this. This is a piece of cake. And when there's any kind of like bumps in the road, I am unbothered by this. I am going to continue. If I need a break, I'll have a little coffee break and I will come back. And also give yourself a reason to be excited about the potential of tomorrow, later this evening. So say you're doing something that's a little tedious in the middle of the day. I think of a great show and a snack I'm going to have later. Simple as that. Something I'm going to make, a jewelry design, who I'm going to talk to and I get myself excited about that. Keeping yourself on that upper arc of feeling good, a new day, a new way. What do I want to discover? What do I want to see? And remember, these all go together. And I love, I love these cards so much. They, they're from the secret garden. You know, the potential for success, it has to definitely start with serenity. And when we discover generosity in ourselves, for ourselves, forgiveness, um, anything, anything, just looking after ourselves, self-care, all of this, everything comes. Look at this. We got magic. We got feeling emotionally strong and on top of the world. We've got um, serenity through prosperity, the potential doing the work, having focus and follow through and success, trying different things, going to different places, blooming wherever we are. I'm serious. There are some people just think of, I, I think of that too, in terms of refugees, I am blown away by the amount of people that can just move to another country, set up and begin and 
just start that like people that came to Ellis Island people you know immigrants that they just come I know people that literally just the wealth that they had from their country they brought here and they created an amazing life just blown away that's it do you it's not really the where we are it's the who we are and you guys have got this beautiful you doing beautiful things all the while feeling good about who you are and all the potential that's out there hooray i love this for you guys so if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe my name is melanie williams thanks so much you guys for coming over and your great comments i love 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 it and remember for um private reads all my information is right on the thumbnail for contact me over on ig or my email and for all new clients you get half off your first read as well and and for my old faithfuls i'm tacking on some extra time for you guys when you order reads as well it's it's just may giveaway and thank you for all my beautiful clients that are out there and you guys really do something special and nice for yourself today you deserve it you're awesome say just say aloud right now i feel good i feel strong i feel calm i feel serene i see all the potential I am going to be generous and successful and feel yourself build on that. It's amazing when that happens. You start to build and you feel good and your vibration goes up and then you recognize, yeah, you know what? I do have this. All good things are coming my way. So love and light.